in this video today I'm going to be reviewing the Airy step bars. I'm going to kind of show you how they're mounted, how they work, and um, just tell you what I think about them in case anyone's interested in getting them because like I said before, I got these and I've never seen them before. So they only have one style. Um, it comes from the front door, like the very front of the door, and comes all the way back just a little bit past the door on the 4th gen Dodges. Now they make them for Jeeps and Dodges at the moment. It, well, at least when I got these about two months ago, they were only for Dodge and Jeep. The newer Dodges anyways, I think it's from 10 to 21 and the Jeeps. I think they're about the same year models. So it's not for your older vehicles. Um, don't think Chevy or Ford has any kind of um, system for it to work on. But it's really a universal type step because it sits on a track right here that it slides on so you can actually offset it more this way or that way if you want to the only thing custom to the truck wise is these brackets here and i'll show you down here okay so as you can see down here it slides in this track all the way down it hey wiggy and uh they bolt in up here in factory uh, mounting holes so that's nice and you just torque these down keeps it from moving like i said it has one light here looks like it came loose yeah there's a nut on the back i guess it came loose but you have the wire come down they sell a splitter to go here and there's mounts down there and down here where you can add a light so either way three lights two lights one light however you want to do it and I really like the design. It's supposed to be designed as a rock slider type. Um, I know it's not as sturdy as an actual rock slider, but it's designed where you can take, it can handle bumps here and then never hit your body panel. So it's advertised to be pretty sturdy, which it is. It's pretty stout. Um, has plastic cover here. Um, it has a plastic top, but all this is metal. Even the step is metal. All of it's metal. Just has like plastic covers on it and then of course no matter which door you open there's the back one it flips down excuse my hinges but it has these weird shaped I would say triangle shaped but they're not really triangle shaped beams that they flip down on and see it tucks up in there in that system and it has a rod that pushes it um, back which makes it flip down and open it's full length I think the weight limit on it is 600 pounds so you can carry something heavy and step on it at the same time of holding your weight or two people could be standing on it and it hold up just fine so the way it works is is you have a magnet little magnet ring you stick on the door and then it has a sensor that you run as you can see here and when the magnet meets the sensor it pulls it up up into the you know the step so each door has a sensor and a magnet the wires back here i run them behind the seat behind the seat and then let's see how did i get them to the front yeah you can see here they run up under here actually i think that's going there i think i ran them up under here and then it goes across under the seat and then it goes to this door jam and that door jam on that side and that's how that's powered that way and then i hold on and then i just have the switch it came with hanging under here just an on off switch that i can turn it off if i want to wash it yeah hanging right there and i can flick the switch and it stays open stays closed however you want to do it if you're wanting to wash it and it's very helpful at a car wash or just take the magnet off and then it'll stay open but however you want to do it but if you're interested into some power steps and you really like the way normal uh, traditional step bars stick out like this but you like the flip down feature these will be a great product to look at because the um, it helps with deflecting rocks so it doesn't deflect them all as you can see my tires stick out even further past the step but 
it helps with a lot of rocks hitting my body. I still have rocks come up and smack my mirror. I mean, my yeah, my mirror, smack it up in here and stuff. But I don't ever have anything really hit the side of the truck, so I don't have to worry about rock chips as bad. But I do like them. Um, they're very nice. I think the sale price on them was $18.99, $1,800. So a little bit more than air, um, Amp. But I think it's the same price as the Amp XL. And it does come down pretty far. Actually, I've got a tape and show you how far it comes down for those who are interested. So as you can see, this is about how thick the step bar is. It's about three and a half inches when it's pulled up. And then it sticks out like... I'd say four and a half past the body. And different vehicles will be different lengths, I'm sure. And then the drop down length. Is... So from the top of the step, you get about an eight inch drop. So that's nice. And then compared to the body, you get about a, I would say 16 inch drop. Yeah, about a 16 inch drop from that plastic piece to the top of that step. And I have not had an issue with mine yet. Not wanting to come up. I've seen some reviews on the amps where people say that they'll open the door and close it and it doesn't want to come back up. And it ends up being some kind of sensor got wet or something like that. And it has some kind of electrical connection issue. Or some of them I've seen were the magnets. Because I think amp uses the same design with the magnets. If your amp ain't, I mean, your uh, magnet isn't placed just right on the door, you'll have issues. Um, with it either wanting to open or not closing so um, but I would definitely buy them again and if you live in the LaGrange Georgia area I can also install them on your own vehicle if you're interested and you're watching this video and you live around here so thanks uh, hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe